So, good morning. Good morning. So, tell me, how are you uh, and, and who are you? <laughs> good morning. My name is Wout. Um, I work at Gibbon. Gibbon is an um, online platform where you can share knowledge with uh, basically everybody in the world, but also in smaller groups, uh, where you can leverage content that's already out there on the web and make a really, really simple um, e-learning course almost with uh, different content that's out there. So it could be articles or videos or presentations. Put them together in a list and share them with uh, whoever you like. So uh, how did you get to the idea? Um, well, the idea came from um, basically the, the three guys that started it. I joined a little bit after. They were already um, sending out a lot of content to people around them, uh, designers and developers, to help them learn from the web, so to say. They were all self-taught uh, engineers and designers. And so on a weekly basis or monthly basis, they were already curating content for, uh, for other people. And then they said, like, hmm, this is a very interesting idea. Maybe we can you know, do something a little bit bigger with this. And then they said, like, okay, let's, let's take a next step and start building this, uh, this platform. So <coughs> if, I, if I'm correct, uh, they, were, uh, they were first cu uh, uh, curating existing contents uh, on, a, on, on, a, on a website or a platform and then say, okay, we we're now ready for the next step and, and also make our own contents. Um, not really own content, it's just everything is still curated. So it's everything that could be, you know, it could be a TED video or it could be an article or it could be a blog post, it could be anything. Uh, and you curate that in, in one list and you just narrate it really simply with a few personal notes. And then that way create a very valuable, um, what we call a playlist, which is almost like a little textbook that is curated from the web. And uh, who is your target group then? Um, right now, it's uh, a lot of our playlists that are curated are uh, focused on web design, web development, online marketing. Uh, so it has a very technical kind of, uh, kind of aspect. And it's pretty much everyone who's still in, uh, in the phase that they, they want to continue learning. So young professionals that just get started, that are in industries that change quite fast. Um, and they can't really rely on you know old school books or uh, or classes to uh, to keep themselves up to date. So they're uh, they're always in the, in this more innovative kind of uh, uh, work environment. Okay, so uh, so it's 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 uh, it's for target group uh, which uh, profession is 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 really going really fast and where the books are uh, uh, always outdated, and it's it and, and it's a way to to keep them up with the latest developments uh, of the of their profession. Yes, yes, for sure. Um, and of course, there's there's many other use cases, but this is kind of like what we what we saw for ourselves, and also for the for the users on our platform that they're really uh, focused on this type of uh, this type of industry. And at what way do you give them the content uh, on a daily uh, uh, basis, or, or or weekly, or monthly? So the the platform is is open for everybody. Anybody can just sign up for free, and everybody can create a a playlist for themselves. Uh, to start teaching others. So if you are there to share knowledge, that's possible, but you can also just come to learn and follow playlists curated by others. So oh, it's okay. almost a, a personal to read list that you can recommend to others. Okay, so in the end, uh, 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 the, the crowd is really uh, uh, with peer-to-peer -peer, uh, building their own list and sharing them with others. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's completely peer-to-peer, -peer. it's all open. Um, and uh, and you could even use it in a, in a in a small group as well. If you say like, okay, I want to use this for my team, or I want to use this within my company or within a, a separate community, then you can close it off. But at the start, everything is is open and, and peer to peer, so uh, so the crowd can can teach each other. And and do you also have some copyright issues because you're. Uh, uh uh, uh, you, uh, you're using existing materials uh, that are that are available on the web, um, but uh, do you also get copyright issues of people to say, okay, I don't want you to use my articles for your platform or whatever? Yeah. Um, so far, we haven't had any uh, copyright issues because what we do, we only save the link to the original article, to the original source, and then we pretty much place it in an iframe. And um, so, if if we're not saving the actual content, we just link back to it, so to say. And uh, so if the original source decides to delete his piece of content, then we'll lose it as well. Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's, uh, yeah. So we're not copying anything, we're not saving anything in our database or whatever. 
That's a really clear answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had the answer before. And yeah. so, and uh, what is your revenue model? Um, so that's with the uh, with with the teams that that you can uh, that you can use Gibbon. So if you want to use Gibbon inside your company to educate each other uh, and have like your own little library of playlists, as we call it, um, that's where companies start to to pay for it. But you can use the the free model, which is uh, which has a a certain amount of, uh, of usage. Or if you're just um, by yourself, then then it's completely free. And can you also share some numbers uh, of uh, of users and, and page views or whatever? Um, well, we recently kind of like started to move around the the, the product a little bit, and um, so so everything now is is relatively new. But we we started giving about a, y a year and a half, and um, and we've grew the community over uh, over a hundred thousand users. So that was uh, uh, yeah, we have, we've had some 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 good, some great success with that. And uh, at what way do you uh, make uh, uh, sure that, that the platform is growing? So how do, how do you uh, get new markets, but also new users uh, for your service? Yeah, so um, there's, there's of, course a, of course a little bit of virality in the, in the product itself where people create uh, this, this, this playlist and want to share it with their fans and followers, so to say. Um, so that's, that's one way of how we get new users. And then the other ways are like, moving into like you said different markets which could be different topics um so right now like i said we're very much focused on like the design and, and web development and more technical aspects uh but we've also moved into online marketing and photography and life hacking so then we just target like different either um call them thought leaders or people that are really passionate and enthusiastic about these topics like hey would you be willing to to curate a list on gibbon and share this with your uh with with your network uh, and that has turned out to be uh, a, a good way to uh, to grow the the open community of Gibbon. Okay, and and, and focusing on that, like uh, when I want to start a a uh, a, a Gibbon uh, list uh, on the sharing or uh, on the collaborative economy or or, or on the peer to peer uh, movements, uh, mm -hmm. how how do you start? How do you start? So you probably because you're probably very passionate about this topic already have some some great videos or articles that you found throughout your past year or something. Um, that are your absolute favorites that you recommend to other people. And that's always what I, what I tell people. If they want to start, like, look at those things and start collecting those and put them together, like three, four things in a list, start narrating it a little bit with some, some personal notes, and then soon enough you can update it with one or two or three things that you, that you come across in the next, uh, next few months. And with, well, in a very short time, you'll have a very valuable uh, playlist that you, can, uh, that you can share with others. So if you just scroll back either in your Twitter feed or just think back like, okay, what were my favorite videos and articles I've, I've read over the few times uh, of the last few months about this topic, then you already have the basis of, uh, of your playlist right there. And do you also give uh, the default the leaders to, uh, the, the option also to, to monetize uh, their, their, uh, uh, their efforts? So th that, you m that maybe uh, people have a paid subscription on the list uh, of default leader? No, we don't do that because uh, it's not their content and they're just, they're just curators. I mean, there are platforms out there that do a similar thing where somebody curates something and then you pay a small amount of money and they make money off of it. But really, we want it to be as a, as a passion thing, like, okay, hey, I, I'm, I'm so into this, this, this topic or subject. Um, I'm going to curate a playlist out of this and share that with others to learn from it. Uh, and I don't need to make money out of it. I just want to do this because I believe you know, I have something to share about this topic. Okay, and, and, and you, you, just, uh, you just said you, uh, you're focusing quite some, 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 some resources and, and, and time uh, to get into new markets, but in the end, when you look at your revenue model, uh, uh, the money comes from the groups who are working together. So how do you keep the right balance in, 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 in um, making the uh, platform uh, and, and, and getting more users, but also the focus on getting groups on board uh, uh, that will pay the bill? Yeah, so that's that's of course. Uh, I mean, what we what we try to do is of course find a conversion in, in everybody who starts to use the free version of Gibbon uh, to the paid version of Gibbon because everybody works in a group and everybody works in a company. And if we can show them that relevance, like, hey, this is how you can use Gibbon as well, then you know we try to find a, a conversion there. Uh, but that's also very much you know entitled into the markets that we that we that we try to address um, next. So we would move maybe into like history because we don't see a relevant target group there that we can convert into to paying users. Whereas, you know, for uh, online marketing, it's, it's a very relevant group of, you know, within 
um, uh, agencies and, and smaller companies and uh, and there's a lot of people uh, involved there that that would probably be able to convert to a, to a paying user so we, we kind of like balance it out that way and then balance out our time as well and, and like what what time do we focus on, on growing the open community and what time do we focus on okay now we need to see uh, foresee that our growth in the in the actual teams as we call them uh, is still on track and where are you based in Amsterdam or uh, we're based out of Leiden. Le uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the few startups in Leiden, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how many people are working at Gibbon? Uh, we're with seven now. So we've got a, a core team with, uh, with, with two back-end developers, uh, two front-end developers and designers, and then um, one iOS uh, developer, because we're also having, uh, having some apps. And, uh, and then me and, uh, and one other or we're focusing on the business development and marketing and stuff like that. And do you also use Gibbon yourself to share your knowledge? Oh yeah, yeah. We have an internal, uh, internal uh, Gibbon University, as we call it, where we, uh, where we always keep each other up to date on, uh, on, on different things like, you know, how to how to grow a SaaS business or how to create a better user experience or little things like that. Uh, it's, it's pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good to hear. And. Yeah. And what are your uh, uh, plans for the near future? Are, are, are there some new developments uh, coming up or new markets uh, that you're going to enter? Um, well, what, we've, what we recently did is, uh, is launched a completely new version of, uh, of Gibbon that was about a, a month ago, where we, where we further introduced uh, the Gibbon team, so to say. So that's, that's our main, main focus right now, to, uh, to continue building on this, uh, on this new version. Which, uh, which is still like very minimal based uh, feature wise. So the focus right now is to see how can we get more engagement and more traction uh, from, our, uh, from our current users and start building up features on top of that. Okay, cool. And because your business is really from day to day because the, uh, uh, your, your business is, 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 is changing uh, uh, quite, quite rapidly, mm -hmm. and at, at, at what way do you manage to, uh, to set some more long-term goals uh, uh, in a world that's changing so much? Because, ma maybe, uh, because maybe in five years you, uh, your business uh, isn't relevant anymore, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, what we see is how, like, if we, if I look at how companies and, and communities are changing, like, they're becoming less hierarchical, and it's becoming more to more of a peer-to-peer -peer setting. The seven twenty ten rules in, 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 in professional development, which means like seventy percent happens on uh, actually on the work floor, learning and developing on the work floor, and we we think we have a tool here that that can really um, really play into that need that, that's becoming more relevant where people start to take more control of their own development. Uh, and it's not the company that says, okay, you're gonna do this class or you're gonna focus on this or that, but it's really the, the, the people who've kind of like built this knowledge network around themselves. Uh, and Gibbon would be a, a good way to, uh, to facilitate with that for the company and for the, for the individuals working there. So in that sense, we, we, we keep a very close eye on that trend and see how companies are starting to, uh, to develop both on, on technical tools, but also on how people are, are acting within companies. And that way we try to keep our, our business as relevant as possible. Okay, cool. So, uh, sounds really interesting. So I'm going to check your website and, and, uh, and start using it uh, for the collaborative Perfect. economy updates. So thank you for the interview yeah. and uh, have a good day. Well, you too. Thank you so much. Enjoy it.